Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at solving simultaneous equations with three variables. Before we begin, you should be really confident with solving simultaneous equations. If you don't remember the method for this, please pause this video and go watch my video on solving simultaneous equations. I'll link that below and on the screen right now. If you're happy with solving simultaneous equations, let's jump straight in with our example here. And we've got a system of simultaneous equations on screen. We've got x, y's and z's as the variables. And what we're trying to do is trying to find the value of x, the value of y and the value of z that makes all three of these variables make sense. So uh, what we're going to do is going to eliminate one of the variables. We're going to eliminate the x's, the y's or the z's. And we need to decide which one we're going to eliminate. Which one would you eliminate? Would you eliminate the x's, the y's, or the z's? Which do you think is simplest here? So when I look at this, I look at the coefficients of y, and I think they're the simplest, because it's minus 1, 1, and 2. So I think they're the simplest numbers here to work with. And so I'm going to focus on eliminating the y's before we uh, do anything else, because Again, I think they are the simplest. So let's look at these equations. And um, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the top two equations and then the top and bottom equations to eliminate uh, the y's separately. So look at the top two equations. We take those two and we're going to eliminate the y's from those two. And we're going to take the top and the bottom equation. And we're going to take those and eliminate the y's from them. But when I do this, I'll just multiply the first equation by two to get this. And that means that I've got a 2y and a 2y in both those equations. So it's easy to eliminate that. I've got minus 2y and a positive 2y, they will cancel. So I've thought about, um, so I chose the y's because this would be easier to do it this way. Let's look at the first two pairs. And we're going to think about add if they're different, same subtract. The minus y and the positive y are different. They've got different signs, minus and positive, so they're different. We're going to add, add if they're different. And we get 2x plus x is 3x, minus y plus y is 0, 3z plus 2z is 5z, 22 plus 12 is 34. 3x plus 5z is 34, which means 3x plus 5z is 34. Uh, and we've eliminated the y's, excellent. Now, over here, we've got these two equations, and we've got a minus 2y and a positive 2y. Again, they are opposites. They are different signs. So we're going to add these together. Get 4x plus 3x is 7x. Minus 2y plus 2y is 0. 6z plus 4z is 10z. 44 plus 27 is 71. And so we've got these two uh, equations here. Uh, 7x plus 10z is 71, and 3x plus 5z is 34. We're going to bring these together. We're going to use these to eliminate uh, the z's now. We're getting really close. We've eliminated the y's. Now we'll eliminate the z's. And to do that, I need to multiply the first equation by 2 to make it 10z and 10z. It's positive 10z, and it is positive 10z. They are the same, so we'll subtract. 6x minus 7x is minus x, 10z minus 10z is 0, and 68 minus 71 is minus 3. Minus x plus 0 is minus 3, minus x equals minus 3, x is equal to 3. We have finally found that x is equal to 3. We substitute that into one of the equations, one of our two equations from before, where we had x's and, what, uh, x's and z's. Not one of our original equations, because we still have y's and z's at the top. But one of the equations we made before, with only the x's and z's, will help us find the z. So 3 times 3 plus 5z, which is 9, plus 5z is 34. Take 9 off both sides. 5z is 25. And we divide by 5. z is equal to 5. We've now found that z is equal to 5. Now we're going to substitute that into one of our original three equations x is equal to 3 and z is equal to 5. We substitute those in and we get this. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 plus y plus 10 is 12. 
y plus 13 is 12, take 13 off both sides, y is equal to minus 1. And we finally got x is 3, z is 5, and y is minus 1. They are the final answers. Like that. We've done it fully. Okay, uh, now I've put all these steps on the screen for you and I've labelled all the steps. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4 and step 5. And what I'd like to do now is just pause the video and reflect on those steps. Take your time to process them uh, slowly, slowly at your own speed so that you fully understand what's going on. If you're ready, you can try some practice questions or you might want to rewind the video and try doing this question yourself before uh, re-watching my example. See if you can do it yourself. And if, you fa if you're able to do it yourself, do it a different way where maybe you eliminate the Z's first instead of the Y's. Uh, so you're trying different methods, seeing which is most efficient. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like, and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-level, IB maths and even further maths GCSE these days. The new videos are coming very soon and you can check out advancedmaths.com for more useful revision resources. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.